Hey guys, Kat here, and today we have a super nice and relaxing neck and also lower back stretch. So I hope this leaves you feeling amazing today. And remember to go at your own pace. So if a certain movement feels like super nice for you, then feel free to stay there a little bit longer. And yeah, that's it. All right, let's get started. Rawr. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get started on our mats or on the ground, wherever you are. We're going to go into tabletop position. So we're going to have our hands under our shoulders, our knees under our hips. From here, you're going to tuck the chin, the chest round the back, and then inhale, open up that chest, really pop the booty. Eyes to the ceiling. Exhale, tuck in, pressing palms, fingertips on the ground, rounding. And inhale, pull it through. So you wanna act like there's a string pulling you forward. So keep cycling through. This is gonna be super nice for that spine especially. You're gonna really feel in that lower back and in that spine, some loving, awesome movement to shake things up. Maybe after sitting for a long time or even standing. Go ahead, keep going through, inhale through. Exhale, tuck in. Let's go a few more. Inhale through. And exhale, tuck in. And go ahead. From here, you're going to get funky with it. So it's going to look funny, but whatever. So make some circles. And go with your breath. Inhale, exhale, tuck. Inhale through, exhale, tuck. And then go the other way. All the way through, getting some neck movement in two. And maybe one more swirl. One more, whee! And go ahead, bring it back to center. And then maybe add some look behinds. A look behind you. Nothing there, nothing there. Okay, beautiful. <laughs> now let's bring it back to center. We're gonna extend the opposite arm, opposite leg. Neck stays neutral, so we don't wanna look up. Look a little bit below you. Really reach and squeeze. All the way, reach and squeeze. Getting a nice little strengthener for our lower back here, as well as a stretch for our entire body, really. And extend. Point those toes. Reach, 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 elongating that body. That feels super nice. Let's go two more. Last one. And let's get a little shaky shaky here. Nice job. All right, let's get some twists too. So we're gonna have our right hand behind our right ear. Go ahead, twist to the elbow of the left arm and then reach up. So this is nice for that thoracic part of your spine. But getting a nice little twist and opening up that chest is super nice. Let's go two more. Whew. Last one, and up, and then go ahead, shake it out. Let's get the other side. All the way up, reach. Whew. I like to inhale down, exhale up. We're gonna go three more on this side. Inhale, exhale, last one. Nice job, and go ahead, shake it out. And let's bring those big toes together, knees out wide, and sitting the hips back. We're going to walk the hands forward. And just think about relaxing that neck down. You can move side to side. Nice little hip opener. Nice working on the lower back as well. Bring the head up slowly and then walk the hands back. Now bring your knees together and sit back. I'm gonna bring my arms behind me. You're gonna be like a little potato. So let's bring that head down. Nice deep breaths here. This is great for a lower back. Walk your hands up by the knees. 
and then slowly press yourself up very gently. Going with that breath, inhale. Ooh, that feels so nice. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna flip it around. And let's just go ahead and rock. And then bring our knees in and move in a circle. So this is massaging that lower back. And then go the other way. So if you ever like don't have time to do a lot of stuff, this is a really nice one. Very relaxing that you can do any time without having to warm up really. <sighs> All right, so from here, we're gonna drop the feet. We're gonna cross that right leg over the left, not a figure four, but crossing over. Arms into a T, bring your knees up, and then drop them over to the left. I'm gonna look over to the right then, and if you want a deeper stretch, you're gonna take that left hand and pull the right knee down, closer to the ground. Nice deep breaths here. Remember, try not to tense up anything like your face, your jaw, your traps. Just melt into this stretch. And then go ahead and slowly bring it back up. Bring those knees back in a few circles before we go to the other side. Go ahead and drop those feet down. We're gonna cross it over, arms into that T, knees up. This time drop over to the right and look over the left. Oh, I felt a crack in the air. <laughs> Feel free to take your right hand and pull the left knee closer to the ground. Go with that breath, nice big inhales and exhales. Twisting the spine. Nice job, guys. Go ahead, slowly bring it back to center. Same thing, add some circles here. Oh, so nice. <laughs> And then go ahead and drop both legs down. And we're gonna raise up the right leg. And we're gonna climb up, keeping it as straight as we can, and we're pulling it so we get those hamstrings. Sometimes low back issues can come from tight hamstrings, so we wanna make sure we're taking care of them. If this is too much, you can always bend the knee in and then pull a little bit more, or bend the left leg, and that will allow you to pull. But we want to try to keep that left leg on the ground as much as possible. So you should feel that here. You should feel like playing the guitar. <laughs> and then go ahead, switch. One side might be tighter, so don't feel bad if you have to bend the knee in of one side and not the other. Just take note of that. Maybe it needs a little bit of extra stretching after we're done. Remember, relax the traps. It's really easy to tighten them up here. And then go ahead, slowly bring it down, knees in. And we're gonna rock up to a seated position and then go into crisscross applesauce. A nice tall spine here. Let's get another spine twist. So we're gonna take that right hand to the left knee, left hand and back. Inhale, grow tall, squeeze the core, activate the core, and twist. Breathe. Looking over that left shoulder. With every inhale, think about growing tall, squeezing the core. Exhale, twist and turn a little bit more. Relaxing the face. And then go ahead, slowly bring it back to center. We're gonna shake it before we go to the other side. <laughs> and let's go ahead, left hand this time to the right knee, right hand and back, inhale tall, squeeze the core, exhale, twist, turn. Look over, breathe. Try not to, again, tense up the traps. Go 
go ahead, bring it back to center. Shaky, shaky. All right, so from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna swing ourselves around, a little fuzzy, <laughs> into hero's pose. Now, if this isn't for your knees, what you can do is you can stand up instead, okay? So you can either come into heroes, or you're gonna be right here. All right, so from here, what we're gonna do is take that right hand, and you're gonna reach all the way over. Okay, if that's not for you and heroes is, you're gonna go here and bend that elbow, and then standing, same thing, except feet are gonna be out wide and you're gonna reach. Okay, so a bunch of few options for you, depending on where you are today. And I'm gonna look up. So we're getting that QL. You're gonna feel that side stretch. Really reach with those fingertips. I know this isn't the most comfortable, but Let's take that left hand and little teapot ourselves up. Woo! <laughs> All right, we're gonna get the other side. So, take those deep breaths. Be very mindful of what your breathing is like. Because our breath can allow us to either tense up or really get into that stretch. And we wanna think about, you know, when we feel anxious, what are our breaths like? Usually they're shorter. But when we're more relaxed, we can take those deeper, more intentional breaths. So if you ever feel anxious, try changing your breathing and really be mindful of it. And go ahead, a little teapot yourself up. Ooh, that's shaky. That's shaky. <laughs> Other way. And we're going to go ahead and come into that hero's pose or standing if that's for you. We're gonna clasp our hands like this, but in back. We're gonna bring it over to our left side and roll that shoulder blade back and point that elbow behind you. You should feel this chest stretch now. From here, let's double it up. So we're gonna bring our neck to the opposite side. So now we're getting a nice neck stretch as well as chest in front of the shoulder. Nice deep breaths here. And you can find where it's super tight. So right here, I feel a little bit more as I look up. So I'm gonna stay here and breathe for a few breaths. And then I might switch it up and look down a little bit more. Take your time. And go ahead, slowly release. Whew, shake it out and then go side to side. Very gentle. And let's cross our hands again. This time, other side. Roll that shoulder blade back and down. Pull back behind you. And then drop the neck. Relax the face. It's easy to tense up the jaw and the forehead and the tongue. back to center. A few side to sides here. Mm. <laughs> now for this next one, if you need to go and crisscross applesauce because your knees aren't liking this right now, you can totally do that. Um, we're going to take our right hand to the left side of our head and back. And we're not going to go to the side, we're not going to go to the front, or we're going to go in between. So we're going to pull down. Tuck the chin, the chest, relax the neck as you do this. And you should feel that stretch in the side of that neck, in the back. Breathe. Mmm, that's so nice. Go ahead, slowly release the hand and then slowly roll up your neck because that can be pretty intense. So, so a few side to sides there. Oh, a few up and downs. Mm, take your time. 
then let's go ahead and go the other side. And one side might be tighter. Remember to relax your neck before you pull on it. Breathe. Nice, deep, intentional breaths. Sometimes I'll take my other hand and I'll massage it by going with my fingers and just pressing on it like I'm playing a piano very poorly. And then go ahead, slowly release. Remember to slowly roll up that neck. Oh, side to side. Now we're gonna get those scalenes, which are right here, which can contribute to forward head. And it's so easy to get that these days because we're on our electronics all the time. So I'm gonna go into crisscross applesauce as I do this one. And we're gonna take our fingers, find your collarbone, and go below it. Now you're gonna press into that skin and pull down. And then drop your neck to the opposite side. So I'm dropping it in back of me and it should feel like a great stretch there uncomfortable. Oof. Go ahead, slowly release. Ooh, that's what I recommend doing every single day just because we have a forward head. <laughs> I know most of us do. All right, let's go ahead and take that left hand find on the right side, the collarbone, and then go right below it, press down and pull the skin down and drop that neck. slowly release. You might have had to open your mouth because it's so tight. <laughs> All right guys, we got one more today which is super awesome. It's very important to relax your neck in this one, but we're going to clasp our hands again like this and place it on the head, not the neck. So place it on the back of the head, elbows in, tuck the chin in the chest. You're going to slowly, very gently pull down. You should feel us all the way down the spine. Nice deep breaths. So you keep stretching. I'm going to guide you on how to get out safely. Release the hands and then slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. And let's do a few side to sides here. Very gentle. And let's go ahead up and down. Big inhale, exhale. Nice tall spine, inhale, exhale. One more. And nice job guys. You can roll the shoulder blades back and down. So a little, a few tips for your day. Find yourself. Are you tensing up like this when you're stressed, when you're driving, or are you just being? So really think about rolling the shoulder blades back and down. Think about bringing your shoulders away from your ears and back down. And take those nice, deep, intentional breaths because it's really easy when we get stressed and tensed to, you know, get those short breaths and come here and collapse ourselves. But once you start to change your physiology, then your mood can change with you. And so just remember that you have that power to do that throughout your day. And have a nice tall spine, open up that chest that opens up your heart and your airways so you can get those big, deep breaths. So that way you won't 
need to, you know, do all these stretches all the time because you're so tense. But I recommend taking these with you even if you can't do the video all the time. Take some of these with you, make sure your body's just a little bit warm to so do some nice rolls. And then get into some cat cows, maybe just to warm it up first because we don't want to just like do this um, being cold. So yeah, I hope you guys loved this. Um, please do like the video before you go and also um, comment which stretch felt the best for you today. I would love to know that. Both of those things really help out my video. It helps people see it more because YouTube is like, oh, we're going to boost it up. And if you want to support my channel, there are um, purple hearts. In, in the description next to a link. It says support my channel. Anything and everything is greatly appreciated. But I hope you guys feel so amazing after this and just remember to take care of your body. So, all right. See you soon. Rawr.